This is Elizabeth McMahon. She is the former Mrs. Prairie State. And 2017, today, she's going to show you how to make surgical masks while talking a little bit about herself. Well, as you know, they're out of masks, so my wonderful daughter <laughs> helped me sign up, Lily, for volunteering and making masks. The interesting thing is that there's many different kind of masks. Well, some of you might not know, and some of you might know, that a lot of other people have signed up to help also, and they are low on elastic that would go um, obviously on the side. So here is um, some of my pieces that I'm cutting. I'm kind of excited about one of the fabrics. Now this is fabric that I had because I definitely <laughs> am a uh, sewer. I've been sewing and had my own business for a little while um, and then some things changed in life so but I thought this would be really cool to make these as masks. So I'm really excited about this, especially if there's a younger individual or maybe just to lift people's spirits. I think this is a very, very uh, serious situation. But um, one thing that I can do is to make these masks. So um, I'm starting today. I'm also really excited because I have a son that is coming in from North Carolina and I have not seen him maybe for about eight months. I have another son that is in Kuwait. I actually got to talk to him on FaceTime and that was awesome. Hi, Steve. <laughs> and I can't wait to see you, Chad. I'm going to surprise you. <laughs> Anyways, I'm making a mask. Uh, maybe I'll send one of these to Steve. I probably won't be able to make one quick enough for um, Chad, but um, I have Ellers Danlos and I've had it my whole life, but they've never called it that. When I was younger and at the doctors, they told me I had a muscle skeletal issue. So they said to go to the chiropractor. So basically that's what I've done. I've gone to the chiropractor. I'm someone that's really, really active. Uh, I have dealt with my eds by swimming and just keeping very fit with my muscles. Um, I have a black belt <laughs> and I got that uh, a few years ago so that was pretty good um, but most of mine has been activity I have started to have some issues that are louder and have affected um, some different uh, bigger muscles and bigger joints so that is a little struggle but I have always had my hands and my legs my legs tend to hyper uh, flex backwards. I've, I think when I was eight, I noticed a picture and thought, why are my legs going backwards? And my legs always hurt. So I've dealt with pain, a lot of pain most of my life, but I've noticed for myself that activity is helpful. It helps kick in my endorphins and helps me fight that. One way that I deal with the pain is rest. I just try to listen to my body and take a rest. And I used to feel really bad about that and still sometimes do, but I'm trying to accept that and know that that's just part of what I have to do to stay as healthy as I can. Uh, the beginning of uh, yesterday or the day before, I wanted to start the mask, but I was in a lot of pain. My hip was in really bad pain. Lately, I have been walking at night, um, just a couple times around the block, I notice for myself if I sit too much, it's a lot of pain. Like I just end up with pain. I've been having a lot of shoulder pain. Um, I'm not really sure why. My neck has felt kind of goofed up. But um, what I try to do a lot of times in most of my life is think about what I can do. Um, and this is exciting for me. I, I, this is my machine and I love this machine. I've had it for quite a while. Um, my husband got this for me as a gift. It's pretty durable and so I feel comfortable with that. I am um, hoping to make as many masks as I can. What I try to do is think a little bit about um, the long-term effects. So doing this 
um, the rewards of thinking that other people will be safe and including my family and um, pe people at the uh, hospitals and that. Um, it's going to far outweigh what the pain feels like, but if I do have pain, I do have um, wraps for my hands. And I also um, have other wraps. So one of the big jokes is people with Ez is how many um, how many wraps and elastic wraps that you have. That's a clue that you might have um, Ez. One thing with Ez is um, they don't really explain um, that when I was going to the chiropractor, there was other times where if I went to my regular doctor, they would say that maybe I had MS and so I have symptoms of MS but it's actually the hypermobility it's um, just all of the joints being out of whack makes me dizzy and it can come on um, out of nowhere sometimes so but I think for myself is rest and enough activity is then the most important drinking lots of water um, and that so anyways I'm excited about this mask um, they are out of elastic so what they're doing is telling us to cut three pieces seven by ten and they're also telling us to cut um, two inches by 20 I have this elastic and they also said you could use um, the bias which folds like this so uh, I'm going to look in my wonderful sewing kit um, of goodies and see, I'm pretty sure I have that. So that is going to be, um, they're going to be ties. So once you have it, you're going to have two ties on each side and that's how that's going to work. So I am going to, I just cut these out. Um, I actually went to the store to get an iron and I'm going to start sewing. So this is um, seven by 10 and you will mark one inch and three, um, make a three one inch marks on here. There will be folds. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the next steps in a little bit. I'm going to take a break now and not feel guilty about that. And I hope that if you need to take a break that you don't feel guilty about that if you have any kind of disability, I want you to know that you are special and that you are valuable and you are cared and loved and that you are gonna have some days that are super good and then there's gonna be other days that might not be that great. You might have a lot of pain, you might be working through pain, you might have a subluxation um, and might need to go to your physical therapist. I do have one that um, is really helpful. The last time I went, they had to um, crank on me. So I'm a little not looking forward to going there. Um, I stay away if I can. <laughs> But a lot of it is keeping strong and there's a lot more information and that that is on the Eller Danlos Facebook. Um, they've helped me a lot to think about just other ways of doing things to protect my joints from getting weaker. So I'm going to take a break and I will be talking to you soon. Thank you. Well, it's Beth McMahon and I just made my first medical mask. So here we go. How long did this take you? 45 minutes maybe? Okay. So this is just a plain blue one. Our church, Christ Community Church in Streamwood um, is making these and volunteering. I know a lot of other people have probably already done this, but as you know, a lot of our lives have been changed. So one of the things that has changed in my life is my husband is working from home and I have three young children that are home with me. And I am doing e-learning, which is similar to homeschooling. So we have three different teachers and we have three different lessons and I have one Chromebook. So 
one of the preschoolers is on my phone doing schoolwork and then there's somebody doing schoolwork on the Chromebook and then someone else is either reading or we're doing math work and my husband is working from home and we have someone else working from home too. Thank you. That is wonderful that we can do that. We're very, very happy to be able to do that. I know, I know not everyone can do that. Um, I just want to say that I feel um, that this has been a very um, a lot of changes for not only me but other people and I noticed that the EDS was flaring up a little bit just with some of the extra challenges and stresses. I think um, a little bit of deep breathing. So that's why I'm a little behind some of you and that's my thing, okay? Um, I might be a little bit behind, but I can still get things done and um, my hands feel okay. But these are the straps that you ha um, I did like a bias, um, double bias tape. And of course, I already had this. So these are my materials that I was um, working on. So how about you? Some What are some of the changes that you've been going through? Maybe you're not working. Um, maybe, of course, a lot of us are staying home. I'm, you know, home. I don't go out that much except for the grocery store. I want to, um, I wore gloves today for the first time and that was a little different and uh, I felt pretty good about it and then I washed the gloves because you know they're not, I'm not throwing them out, I'm just reusing them and washing them really good. Uh, I got all of my kids gloves so that they can be safe from this illness and this is my next pattern and I'm thinking this is going to look pretty cool. I hope that this um, brightens some sick people's days and gives a little energy and super duper uh, hero power to our wonderful nurses and I hope they feel like the heroes that they are to the people that they're treating and the doctors. So we just thank you that there are people that can help and I hope this helps kick this virus far, far, far off the face of the earth. <laughs> so um, I'm going to work on this one and I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching.